Hi guys and welcome to my video about the first impressions I have about the new Luminar 2018 um, uh, app uh, PC version. So first of all this is what you have. Um, you can just open an image. You cannot really um, you don't do not have any sort of file management system um, it's coming soon I've heard but it's not here so if you want to use it now if you don't want to wait um, you are going to have to use it with Lightroom um, you cannot really save um, let me show you let me just open a file you cannot really save your changes or anything like that um, you can save a preset and then you can keep the files and when you open the file you can load it with the uh, with presets that you save but this is ridiculous i mean right now you can see how um it is it is slower than lightroom i don't know everybody said that it's supposed to be fast and everything it is slower than lightroom is um as you can see you can see how long the file loads in real time this is a dng file um I uh, exported the file from, from Lightroom. Um, let me just show you how the file looks like, um, you know, the miniature of it. Uh, open with photos. And the app is, yeah. So as you can see, this is the file with uh, Lightroom adjustments I made. And this is the file I got. So this is just the raw file, no adjustments whatsoever. Um, having said that, um, let me now go into the into the software itself. So the filters that we have here are really great. They are much much better than what you have in Lightroom. I uh, of course heard to have those LUTs, which is uh, like a preset. I don't really know the difference. Uh, of course, you have the raw develop module with everything Lightroom has to offer. Other than that, you have stuff like dynamic contrast, which is great, which is what Lightroom really, really lacks. Um, and many, many other, um, you know, just um, ready-made uh, effects. You can add also creative presets. You know, you can add, you can add uh, sun rays and stuff like that. Let me just show you. And it looks really realistic. It doesn't look fake. Um, you also have tons of presets that you can use, you, you see. You also have tons of presets that you could use. Um, these are really, really cool, not like what you have in Lightroom, just basically nothing. You have to create your own. Here you have some. Um, let me show you a, f a JPEG that I made in this, in this um, program. I cannot show it to you in the program because I cannot save uh, the files. It is, um, just a second. So here it is, as you can see, you know, you can play with the colors, with the lighting, with everything. It's really cool. It's a really good, a really good software. Um, having said that, right now it is a Lightroom plugin. That's, that's all it is. So, um, and actually when you export a DNG file, which takes up, just a second, the DNG file takes up um, 35 megabytes, okay? So with that you you don't have any lightroom adjustments uh, when you can have lightroom adjustments is the tiff file tif which however takes up 129 megabytes this is a 24 megabytes file it's lost as compressed from fuji and the tif is 129 and this is the only way you can work with lightroom adjustments and this software i mean i'm sorry of course you can use it as a lightroom plugin but I tried to make a video about how slow, how painfully slow it is as a Lightroom plugin and I couldn't really even do it because my computer got, you know, I got blue screen. Each and every single time I tried to do something with this program as a Lightroom plugin. I'll try to show it to you again. I'll, you know, I'll finish up this video and make another one just so I can have this one saved. So. If you don't mind, uh, you know, just exporting TIFF files and playing around with them or just, you know, making your adjustments, exporting the file and then losing everything, then, you know, you can use it right now. If not, you can, you really have to wait for the software update when the 
um, file management module comes in, then if A, the file management comes in, and B, there's a mobile app which I can sync photos with and use it on my iPad, I am completely switching from Adobe products to this program. Until that, I'm sorry, but it's simply unusable. Okay. Um, I'll probably make a video about what filters we have here um, later. I really didn't even have much time to play with them because it's our first day the program came out. But um, right now I'll try to show you how it works as Lightroom plugin. Hi guys, so here we are in Lightroom and I will try um, again to uh, open the file in uh, Luminar from Lightroom because I really did that well it opens up it's you know it's works 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 processes images for like 10 minutes does nothing and then crashes the computer that's what it does so let's try it again um if this doesn't work then i'm gonna you know like record it from an external camera or something okay so once you installed it you have it here so you will not have it um here i don't really know why but you will have it in file plugin extras transfer to luminar and this is all real time okay i will not skip anything um i don't know maybe i'll sing or something because it will be like five ten minutes okay so i just you know set it to be opened in luminar I, I don't know, I'm gonna look for some background music maybe or something like that. This is simply incredible. I mean, they just, they shouldn't have, have released the software like that. Okay, still loading. Still loading. I mean, come on, if you have like a hundred of those, you, you're not going to work with this app. Come on, Luminar, you can do it. Come on. Luminar. Jesus, this is, I, I mean, come on, would you work with that software? Would you work with a software that takes this long to, to load? I mean, this is ridiculous. I paid 60, 60, 60 euro for something like this. I understand this is the first day and probably in a couple of days they will do something with this uh, uh, plugin, Lightroom plugin issue, but come on. I mean, you, you should, you really should have it, uh, you know, all played out with with the most popular um, file editing software there is. As you can see, I'm right. Okay, here we are. Okay, all right. Try to fix. You see how it works. You see how responsive this is, right? Screen, um, image processing. All I did is I just zoomed out, right? Okay, here we are. Uh, I'm gonna stop recording and start another movie with the uh, probably external camera. So just wait a second. Okay, so I'm recording this both from my computer and my external camera because um, 
actually I've tried it a couple of times and each and every time the computer crashed when I was using the software. Okay, so here you have a raw file. Uh, we are now in the Lightroom plugin mode. So this is, you know, it works faster when you use it as a standalone. But, you know, just let me show you. Let me add some clarity, right? Image processing, right? Just clarity. Okay. Oh, and we're done. That was it. This is the uh, Lightroom plugin experience of Luminar 2018. Thank you, uh, Skyloom MacFun. Um, I paid 60 euros for that. And this happens at each and every single time, okay? So, I don't know, man. This is not a release-ready software, okay? It is great. The filters are really great. Uh, much better than what Lightroom has to offer. But uh, the execution is, well, the software is, is simply not working. That's, that's it, you know? The software is not working. Um, I tried it. Uh, you can use, you can, you know, if you, if you're making, um, if you just like want to use it for every 10th photo or something or just for like the, you know, the one photo you're using for print, if you're that kind of a photographer, um, then you probably don't mind exporting it to Thief and then working it here and then having us, you know, like having files take up, uh, five times as much space as the raw file. If this is not a problem for you, then you can use it. But if you want to use it together with Lightroom, uh, or if you just want a program that, uh, has file management module, it's simply not for you yet. I mean, we have promises uh, from Skyloom that they will fix all of this. They will add the module and everything. But for now on, um, it's simply not there. Hi, guys. I'm going to continue because the program got unstuck. You see what I, I, I just added? Uh, 53. Um, here we go. I just added clarity. And now I am trying to add color contrast filter. And that is all I do. I'm doing with this thing and it cannot do it for like three, four minutes right now. You see, it's still working and it didn't add anything. It just, just add the filter. Oh, okay. Screen got stretched. All right, Luminar, what are you doing? Um, I think I've shown you enough uh, about um, how exactly this thing works uh, with Lightroom and as standalone. So as standalone, you know, you play around in Lightroom because you have to, because there's no file management here. Then you export it as TIF, then you upload it here add your adjustments and once you export it um, you're done you cannot do anything you cannot go back you cannot change anything um, that's it either you do that or you can somehow incorporate it into your well theoretically right you can incorporate it into your light as a lightroom plugin and that's what i would do for now just while i'm waiting for the file management but it simply does not work Okay, it doesn't work. Um, I'm not going to wait anymore. All I wanted to do is add color contrast and um, we'll, we're waiting like for five minutes right now. So, okay, as you can see, it's done. Um, actually, I'm going to have a f you know, video file at least because normally it just crashes. So I'm going to stop recording and this is it. This is my view on... Luminar 2018, a software that shouldn't probably yet be released, okay? Bye, thanks for watching.